What's up guys, Lego here with Dyna Demos, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a new install video of this Chopper Hoss front motor mount, so if you're interested, please stay tuned for that. Also, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be giving away some free stickers, so if you're interested in that, please stay tuned for the details, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, check it out. Who's interested in getting a free sticker? So if you are, you just have to pay attention to the video. I'm gonna flash a word up on the screen just like this. Now that's not the word, but it's gonna be just like that. And all you have to do is be the first one to comment. The first three people to comment that word are gonna be the winners and they're gonna receive some free stickers in the mail. All you have to do is DM me your address, all right? So stay tuned for that. So the last thing that I want to talk about was my buddy's bike. So this thing's here because we're going to be doing a chain kit to it. I've um, already done some work to it. So if you look at this upper triple tree, we actually changed this out because it had the built-in risers, but he wanted to get some San Diego bars. So uh, we changed that out. Then we did the bar swap on it. So he's done that. He's done a little bit of work to it already. Um, pretty sweet bike. But yeah, that's the reason it's here and maybe might do a video of that, but you guys already seen a chain kit. If you guys are interested in seeing a chain drive install, check out the video. Um, it'll be up there on the screen. All right, so the first step of this install is gonna be removing this IMZZ Elite crash bar. Now, I'm not gonna be able to reuse this because uh, this crash bar is not gonna fit with the way that the Chopper Hoffs front motor mount fits to um, the bike but that's gonna be all right. I'll probably end up getting a Bung King one later on, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this uh, IMZZ Elite crash bar, and then I'm gonna drop and remove the voltage regulator. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now that we got that stuff removed, you guys can see the front motor mount easier. So right here, this is the piece that I'm gonna be replacing. This is the OEM front motor mount. It has about 12,000 miles on it right now. Now, the reason that I removed the voltage regulator was just so this piece was easier to see. And then also, I had to remove the IMZZ Elite crash bar uh, because the Chopper Haas motor mount actually mounts out here. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reuse the IMZZ Elite crash bar because Chopper Haas and Bunking make specific crash bars in order to work with the front motor mount. So I'm gonna to have to look into that. Now, I do want a crash bar because I've tipped my bike over before and the only thing that saved it was the crash bar. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into that. But for now, I'm just gonna ride without one. Okay, so at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is support the engine because the next step is removing the front motor mount. So all you have to do is jack this up enough to where the piece of wood is directly underneath the engine. You're not trying to lift the motor. All you're trying to do is support the motor and prevent it from dropping down. So our next step is gonna be removing this front motor mount. All right guys, so here it is. This is the front motor mount. So this is out after about 12,000 miles. Um, doesn't really look too bad. So I actually had a little bit of trouble um, because I took out the two top bolts that mount to the engine um, instead of taking out these two bolts first and then these two bolts, but you need this piece also removed. So I just took uh, those two bolts out first but you could also remove these two front bolts and then remove these two front bolts as long as you're supporting the engine and then take these two bolts out. Should make it a little bit easier uh, when trying to remove this. I had to jack up the engine just a little bit in order to get it out, but there it is. So now I'm gonna install the Chopper Haas front motor mount. 
So before I installed this, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, what I'm working with. So I actually got this used. So I got it used for about $250. I think it normally retails for about 400, but if you look up close, you can see that it's labeled with the right and the left side. And obviously this is up, so uh, you don't install it incorrectly. And then since it's used, these uh, rubber mounts are old. I bought new ones and you can go to Harley. There's the part number and I bought two of them. I think together it was like 75 or 80 bucks for new ones, but I wanted uh, this front motor mount to be as solid as possible. And at the time I didn't know how many miles these rubber mounts had on them. So I replaced them. So uh, now I'm gonna install this thing. All right guys, so now that I got it sitting in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install these two top bolts and I'm gonna make sure that I use red Loctite. Also, I'm only gonna put them hand tight. You don't wanna tighten down any of the hardware until everything is hard mounted. Um, it would have been a lot easier to put in here, but I couldn't get the uh, cap off because um, it's tightened down and I didn't have a vise or anything in order to uh, loosen up that bolt. So once I get those bolts in, I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna put the new rubber pieces on the ends. So make sure you use the supplied hardware and I'm gonna make sure I put red Loctite on it. So I don't know if this is gonna be the same on every bike, but in order to get to this bolt, I needed to um, loosen up my exhaust flange, which I'm glad that I actually checked it because it was loose. So I ended up loosening it so I could get enough room in order to remove this bolt. And the reason I needed to remove it is because I'm gonna be replacing this rubber mount. So I'm gonna do that now. Once I get it replaced, I'm gonna put the caps on and then we'll start tightening down all the hardware. Now, the next step is gonna be putting the end cap on and I'm gonna say that it's impossible to screw this up because they look completely different. So this is gonna be the one that goes on your right side and this is gonna be the one goes on your left side. But if one of you guys figures out how to screw it up, then don't quote me on that. But uh, this step should be pretty easy. So once again, all you're going to do is use this supplied hardware. Now they have a lock washer and then these Allen key bolts and they're gonna go in here, but we're gonna throw red Loctite on them before we install them. All right guys, so I got pretty sidetracked because I started messing with my exhaust and that took a good bit of time. So I don't remember the last thing that I just did. But uh, to recap, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten up these two bolts up here and then I'm gonna torque them to 40 foot pounds. And then the two bolts on the left and right side, they get torqued also to 40 foot pounds. And then this bolt and then the bolt on the other side gets torqued to 60 foot pounds finally. Um, you're not gonna be able to torque this bolt most likely unless you completely remove the exhaust I had already torqued this bolt because I was messing with the exhaust Not gonna get into it, it took forever, but that's what I'm gonna do next All right guys, so these two bolts up here get torqued to 40 foot-pounds now I don't have a dog bone, so I'm not gonna be able to torque them. I am a mechanic though so I trust myself and I'm gonna tighten them down using a wrench so hate on me So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snug this side down all the way and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then I'm going to torque it to 40 foot pounds. And so there it is. 
completely installed now. The only thing I have left to do is install the voltage regulator right here. So I'm gonna do that. I'll just time lapse it. All right guys, so here's the shot of it. I know it's probably kind of hard to see, um, but you got the motor mount right here, runs up underneath the engine and attaches on the other side of the frame. Here, I'll get a shot of the other side. Maybe a little bit easier to see from this side. So again, it's attached over here. And it's pretty hard to see from there, but it's installed. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the Chopper Haas front motor mount install. I will be doing a review once I put some miles on it, so look forward to that. Hopefully, some of you guys got some free stickers. If you're interested in buying a sticker, please hit me up on either YouTube or DM me on Instagram. Uh, we can work something out. That's going to be it for the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and if you enjoyed, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Once again, Lego here with Dyna Demos, and enjoy the new year.